woke up like this. I woke up like this. Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. It is extremely early. It is six in the morning, but today we are going to be doing my school morning routine. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is wash my face, take out my retainers and brush my teeth. But every morning I always wake up with like swollen eyes. I have no idea why, but when I wash my face, it normally like calms it down a little bit. And my retainers, that's why I'm talking a little bit funky, but I only have to wear them at night, so it's good that I don't have to wear them at school. I always brush my teeth first, and then I'm gonna wash my face. I just use Cetaphil and this yellow sponge, oh, this yellow sponge to just exfoliate my face and just clean it a lot better. If you're like us, you probably want a home backup power solution that's reliable, easy to use, and doesn't take up a ton of space. That's why our family loves the Jackery Solar Generator 2000 V2. Jackery is an extremely popular brand in the portable power industry, and they are paving the way with their innovative and reliable generators. They've established themselves as a leader by creating user-friendly and high-performance products that cater to a wide range of needs. So whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or just seeking emergency backup power, Jackery has you covered. This little powerhouse packs enough power to keep essential appliances and devices running smoothly during outages, which is truly amazing considering its size. It has a variety of output ports, including multiple AC outlets, USB-A and USB-C ports, and even a car port so you can charge it on the go. You can also recharge this generator with solar panels, and Jackery is the leader in this category with only a two hour charging speed. Super impressive. Yeah. We have the Solar Saga 200 watt charging panel and what's really unique about this one in particular is that it actually folds up when it's not in use. It's like you get triple the solar charging power when you need it with half the amount of space when you don't. This truly makes this generator perfect for your next family outing or camping trip. Aside from the fact that we can get power almost everywhere we go, I have to say I love that this generator is extremely quiet. Even when running multiple devices, this generator is almost completely silent. Jackery also has an incredible app that allows you to control and monitor your generator. You'll have access to real-time information and you can customize your settings based on your needs. The Jackery Solar Generator 2000 V2 is so powerful, we can't recommend it enough. We will leave a link in the description below so you can check out the Jackery 2000 V2 on the official store and stay tuned for their big deals coming up October 7th. Thank you so much to Jackery for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So what do you need? We need one cup. This is a one, that's a half a cup. Where, do we not have any cups? <laughs> Where's our cups? <laughs> they might be in the dishwasher. Where are they? It might be in the dishwasher. <laughs> it's a lot easier if we have the right one. We well, should use two of these. We can, but then we, we, we'd have to do a lot of them. Yeah. All right, well, which dishwasher would they be? Oh uh, yeah, this clean one. This no. one's clean? No, the other one. Oh, here's one. We'll wash it. We'll just oh, wash it. Oh, we'll wash it. You need anything else around here? Uh, a tablespoon. Tablespoon. You guys, believe it, I don't, I'm not good at doing stuff like this. I do not know tablespoon, like teaspoons. This is probably a tablespoon right here. This that is. I just yeah, a teaspoon. That's probably a teaspoon. Yeah, it is. We'll wash take it. that one, too. Okay, just okay. in case. So. You got, we got some measuring cups. Yeah. You got some energy this morning. Got some measuring cups. Like you always do. Yeah. Got some measuring cups. You gotta be quiet, Dad, because everybody's still asleep. I know, it's actually pretty late, so they, they should be getting up any minute. So this will be ready, perfect time. Yeah, perfect time. I just and washed my hands, I washed the cup. You guys, and for Mom. We could surprise Mom yeah, with some pancakes. Yeah, Mom's gonna love this too. Yes. So, okay. First thing we're gonna do is three cups of flour. I'm all done brushing my teeth. Now I'm just going to wash my face, but I wash my hands first because you always need to wash your hands before touching your face. And I got this wet, so now I'm just gonna get my face wet, wash my face, and then scrub with this after, and then just rinse my face after, and then we're done. Guys, my hair is a mess because I had my hair in a braid and I slept in it last night and I've just been putting my hair in a braid for school because I'm too lazy to like curl it or straighten it and I've been trying to sleep like or like get as much sleep as I can in the mornings because I just hate waking up so early but I'm taking I chose to take an A hour so I can get like more credit faster and um, it's actually not that bad although I have geometry A hour so it's not the best but 
it's a lot okay so a lot of people say geometry is harder than algebra one and I did not like I really struggled with algebra one but because my teacher was not a good teacher at all he did not like me at all so he just made it like very difficult for me to like learn and so my geometry teacher I love my geometry teacher she's new she's very young and she just like I don't know just the way she teaches she just makes it so easy and I think if you I feel like if you have a good like a good teacher then like school is like a lot easier and better but when you have a bad teacher who like doesn't even like you then like it's just not good and it's not fun and you don't learn as easy so I don't know but for my hair today I am still gonna put it in a braid because I'm too lazy to do anything else different so I also have extremely sensitive skin like everywhere it's actually kind of weird like I get sunburned so easily and then I have those bumps on my arms and my legs that we still have not been able to figure out but and my skin like when I itch it it just gets irritated so fast and it like burns or when I put on perfume it burns my neck I don't know if that's normal it's probably not but okay I do break some rules here because I don't always measure everything so I just put in a little bit of sugar, so usually a couple of tablespoons or so. If I'm feeling really generous and I want to make them a little sweeter, I'll add a little bit more sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. So, and then we need some baking powder too. Baking so, powder. A couple of Wait, tablespoons. Yes. Of well, not yet. This is the not dry. Yet. We're mixing the dry ingredients. First. I love when you put vanilla in it. It's just like adds so oh, yeah. so the, much good. Vanilla and the cinnamon. Oh. We need one more dry ingredient. We need salt. Salt. We gotta I have think a we have salt. salt over here. This? No, that's pepper. Uh, I think we have salt actually at the table. Yeah, yeah. Where did our salt go? Over here. Should we just use one of these? Yeah, we just use one of these. Even though it's probably gonna be a little bit harder than that. We need at least a teaspoon of salt. So. At least a teaspoon. So you're not gonna measure. I was supposed to say don't, because about a teaspoon. Okay. There you go. Oh no, teaspoon. And we're gonna mix that. We're gonna mix. Do you put any eggs or anything in it? Not with the not with the dry. This is just the dry stuff. Just. You gotta dry mix stuff. your dry ingredients first. That's not right. Yeah, yeah it is. Do, That's right. You gotta do all the ingredients first. No, you gotta do yeah. your dry stuff first. Uh uh. Dry first. Uh uh. Trey, yes. you're uh -uh. gonna be learning how to do this. Watch. This is exactly what you love to eat. I know, you guys want to make how to do, do this on your own, right? This is not how you do it. Okay, <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> how Dad does it. Wee, wee. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> good job, good job. Good, good job. job. Good job. I'm so, fixing now. Okay, now we're going to gather the wet, our wet ingredients. Wet. So milk, eggs, eggs, butter, I'll get the cinnamon, the and the vanilla. How much eggs do you need? Well, if I do three, it, that's the easy part. If I do three cups of flour, three eggs. Three eggs. That's how I do it. Okay, so we'll get some three eggs. Yeah. Now that my face is super red from just washing it and drying it off, we are going to take some of my makeup that I have in here because sometimes I get ready um, in here because it's just like quicker and faster. I don't know why, but like I feel like when I'm sitting down at my makeup desk, I just take way longer to do my makeup than I need to. But when I'm in here in the bathroom, I take like 10, 15 minutes to get ready and then I can just leave. And so like knowing that, I like to sleep in longer. So like 6.30 or 6.45, and sometimes I push it to 650 and I do always run late when I do that but that's okay so I always bring it in here and then just put it in this drawer up here and get ready but now I'm gonna take it to my room so that I can get ready in there because I do have more time now we got the we're now. gonna put it in the microwave I like to use a lot of butter so I'm gonna use a whole cube on this one whole cube we got the boot down the boot down put the boot down Okay, so we're gonna put it in the microwave. This is how he is like yeah. every morning, very energetic. Every morning. <laughs> satisfying, 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 and satisfying. To me, the order is kind of important of how you put everything together. You gotta do your dry stuff first. Go ahead and put the eggs in. Do you want me to do one or are you gonna do them all? I do, I do all. No, no <laughs> shells, please. No shells. No shells, please. I think Trey's really good at knocking the shells. He is pretty shells. good. So, one. Okay. Good job. No good. shells. 
No shells. Now I'm gonna get started on my makeup, but first I'm going to do my skincare routine, but there's actually not much to it. So I use this different gel, not every day, cause you are not supposed to use this every day cause it has retinol in it. But I went to the doctors and this is what they prescribed me and this is what I use to um, like calm down my acne and get rid of it. But there is still gonna be some breakouts cause that is normal and that is just a part of life is just breaking out. Um, and then I just put on some toner, moisturizer, and then I'm gonna start with my makeup. I probably should have started with my hair first, but my hand already have my hands already have lotion all over it, so we're not gonna do that. And so I don't wear a foundation. I wear like a skin tint, but I mix them. So I use this tinted moisturizer, per I think, guys. And then I have this Glossier or Glossier, I don't know how you say it, this tinted one. I just mix them together, rub it, and then it creates like a good like bronzed look. And then I just put it on my face, just about that much. You just gotta rub it together. And then just put it on your face. Now that that is all rubbed in, we are going to get a beauty blender. I already got it wet when I was washing my face. And I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit better. And I'm gonna put some concealer on now. But I'm using the Makeup by Mario concealer. I don't know if you can see it. I got it a little bit too bright, but that's okay, That's it's gonna work. Um, but I used to use the Dior concealer. I even, I got another one. And I used to use that all the time and then it would just make me break out so bad so that I just have to use so much more of it. But now I'm using the Makeup by Mario one and it's starting to clean up my skin a little bit. And it's it's definitely like you don't have to use a lot. You can use a little and it a little goes a long way with this. Three cups of milk here. Oh, I just spilled oops. a little bit. How could you? One. It's okay, you can never go along with milk. How could you? Two. How could you? And three. This. Do you wanna get out um the the pan or the Yeah, we do need to get out pan the pan, pan, right? No, not the pan, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> the big egg. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the butter Wait, too. Wait, scrambled eggs? Oh yeah, maybe we could put some scrambled eggs in the snail. No, me, me. Yeah, you, Dad, you. Daddy, can, can I turn it on? All right. I guess so. Uh, yeah, we're almost ready. Go ahead and turn it on. Five. Uh, I put a little bit of cinnamon in. I don't really measure it, but it's probably about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, more. More, more, more. No, it's more, about a more, teaspoon more, of cinnamon. More, you don't need a lot. Yeah, we do. And a teaspoon or two, again, to taste of vanilla. And smell. Vanilla extract. Yeah. I want to mix it. Those two extra little things, oh. Just... Make it the best. Yes. 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 So good. Braxton's the main one that loves this one. Oh, he loves these. Loves yeah. these. I'm surprised he's not in here helping. Yeah. <laughs> that looks <Hi>. perfect. <laughs> Usually when I do pancakes, you know, me, the, probably not the good way. Um, <laughs> um, but I actually, it's either too thick or too... Uh, it's hard to get the consistency yeah. right. And it's not, it's, sometimes it's like, not right. So you have to either add a little bit of milk or a little bit of flour to... You know, make, make it, it thicker or thicker. Yeah, but so. then sometimes it just takes so long, but this looks perfect. You keep going well, I like it where it's dripping and then the drip disappears pretty fast. Yeah. So, and if you like fluffy, thick pancakes, you want it a little thicker than that. If you want it, you know, thin pancakes, then obviously make it thinner than that. That's yeah. Good. That's the thing. I think okay, we're good, I think we're ready to pour. Yeah! Are Excited. you ready to flip? Yeah! Wanna yeah. flip? Yeah! <laughs> we got some energy. I think so. he's a little overexcited. About pancakes, yes? Yeah? I like this one. I like, yeah. Then use that one. <laughs> Let's see. I like Do you want a poi tray or. Actually, yeah, you want like a poi I, like yeah, I like to try to keep it as neat as possible and not spill anywhere, so. Yeah. yeah. I use this. I get like really bad rosacea, so I just put some on my cheeks. I'm breaking out a little bit right there. Oh my goodness, guys, on my chin, I don't know, but Aubrey and I both get it. And I don't know if it's normal or if it's like genetics or something. And that probably sounds really stupid. So that's probably not true. But we both get like these, like a pimple, just one pimple every month. And it just like, like it's on our chin, but you can never see it's like under the skin and it hurts so bad. And we both get it all the time. And so it's very frustrating and annoying. And sometimes it hurts like to like, just like open your mouth and stuff. But 
It's okay, I'll survive. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just a little over dramatic. Lately, guys, I've been going to the gym with my dad and two of my brothers, Mason and Landon. And I would say it's actually pretty fun. I don't know why I haven't been going lately because I just wanted to be like more active and I have been for a long time, but I would always just be coming up with like excuses not to go, which I think is something a lot of us tend to do. But I think it's good to just push yourself to do it. And then like when you, once you start, it's like, it's definitely gonna be hard in the beginning, but then it like, it can turn into something that you really enjoy. And it also can turn into something that you wish you started sooner, like the gym. I wish that I started a lot sooner because I know going to the gym and just working out and staying active and being productive is very good for you. And so that's what I've been trying to do lately. I am extremely sore, but we did legs and then we did abs and then they, they went to the school and did tennis the other day. <clears throat> but I do not I do not like doing tennis. I did not go with them to that when we were doing legs I dropped a 45 pound like weight on my toe before we even started and that hurt really bad But we still went and did it. So okay next we're gonna be using this beauty for real It's finishing powder. I need to use a powder so that my face isn't like oily So I have this I actually don't know where it went. I think I might have thrown it away, but I have the lid. Oh It's lunar Lunar Beauty. Guys, that was the best setting powder I've ever used. I also have the, what is this? The Lore, Lore Mercier. I don't know if that's how you say it. I have this, it's completely full, but it's literally filled with glitter. So when I put it on my face, it looks like a glitter bomb was exploded on my face. It does not look good. So it, I feel like it definitely just takes away the reason to use it because like you don't want to look like all shiny and that's what this does. I mean, unless you do, but now I'm using this and I'm kind of like tearing it apart because it's hard and I can't take this net out. So I've just been like pressing really hard, but even then it's not really coming out a little bit. And then I just put it everywhere on my face so that it doesn't get like oily. And with school, guys, school air is real. When you go to school, you're you're looking beautiful. And then when you come back, you're looking way too rough because oh, it's hot outside, you're sweating. There's something in the air over there. I can't get this all out. But this definitely helps make my makeup last a little bit longer. And if I remember, I use setting spray um, at the very end of my makeup. And then that also helps like last a little bit longer. I don't use any primer or anything like for my makeup though, like any face primer before which you probably should, but I remember seeing a video and I remember my mom doing an experiment like on herself and like face primer, like it didn't really do anything. Like it doesn't change anything. Like even last longer, maybe it makes your makeup a little bit smoother, but. Guys, I promise I'm not putting a lot. It's just not coming out. So I don't know what to do. Oh, I have this one too, but this one is Bare Minerals. It's translucent, but it makes me extremely pale. Maybe I'm just doing too much, but I don't know. Cause it like, the applicator is not very, okay, we're gonna dab it a little bit. I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. Oh, well, of course it doesn't look too bad now. I probably should have just been doing that. Oh. Okay, you ready? How big are we making these straight? How big are they? No, that's huge. That's huge, That'd be hard for me to flip. We're gonna make them smaller than that. Like, yeah, that's a good size. Yeah, that's a good size. Probably just like a medium size. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's probably good right there. Trey, you're gonna flip it, so. I'm gonna flip it. I like to flip it. Yeah, we, yeah. Not, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. And then smack it back on the pan. I will smack the pan. Is Trey gonna be able to flip them? No, they're not ready yet. Don't flip them. Yet. <laughs> you gotta wait for the bubbles. Yeah, how long do you have to wait for the bubbles? Well, when the bubbles come up and then they pop and they like, they stay, the hole stays, that means it's pretty much ready. Okay, so. So, um, but it depends on how dark you like them too, so. Yeah, I like them not too dark, but not too light. Yeah, I like them just perfect, like yeah. light brown, but we're gonna wait. The bubbles aren't even there yet, so they're not yeah. ready yet. Barely. Oh, there's one. There's a bubble. Oh, 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 it's safe, it's safe. Oh, it's disappearing. <laughs> I think he's hungry. We're getting close to our first flip. First flip, which one is gonna be the well, first look, flip? Well, you can see how the bubbles are here and oh, they're yeah. like, 
They're popping, but they're disappearing really fast. That means no, that, that one, that one, that that one, one stayed polished. up. The edges are probably done, but the middle's not quite done yet. So that so. means they're, they're probably really done. The first ones, why do the first ones always take so much longer than the rest? Yeah. Maybe because the pan wasn't hot enough to start with? I don't know. Okay, which one's going to be your first ready? flip? Well, let's check it. Do you know how yeah. to check it? Yeah, check it. Oh, this is how you check it. You just gotta lift the edge. Lift it up a little. Under the very edge, and you lift. Nope. It's very light, very light. So we're gonna wait so a little bit. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Now that we're all done with powder, we're going to get started with bronzer. So the bronzer that I use, actually, I couldn't tell you because I rubbed off the thing and I cracked the mirror. <laughs> Yeah, it's cracked. Um, we do not have a lot of bronzer left, but I love this bronzer, so I'm using as much of it as I can. And I just put it here, blend it into my ear, get my jawline. As some of you guys may know too, I was also wanting to do flag football for school, and I missed the tryouts, because I had no idea when they were. But I know the coach, and I was talking to her about it, or I was talking to him about it, there's two, but I was talking to, because there's like the assistant coach, and then there's like the coach. And I was talking to both of them and they were like, oh yeah, I'm sure you would have made the team, but I missed the tryouts. And I, I know it would have been so fun, but next year guys, next year. Okay, now we're gonna use this brush. I don't know where any of my brushes are from. I don't even know where I got them actually. I have a lot of makeup brushes, but I have no idea where I got them. And I'm gonna put it like under my eyes. You see how the difference? I mean, I know my eyelids are still like pretty pale, but okay. Then we're gonna do this side. Looking good. I also feel like putting bronzer under my eyes definitely like makes the swelling not go away, but like not look like it's there. So that's also a big reason why I do that too. I'm gonna check it for myself. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. <laughs> that was awesome. It's time to flip. All right, Trey. It's time to flip. I'm scared. You got it? You got this? Do it. Good, good. Good job! That, that looks perfect. perfect. All right, do the next one. Do you think they're all done? Yeah, I think they're all done. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, that's close. A too Very good. Nicely perfect. done, dude. Perfection. Better than you. Oh, better than me. He's better than me now. Yeah. Maybe, okay. actually. He is. He may be. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I think me and Trey are gonna be the first ones to eat them because we and Braxton oh, here. Oh, Braxton's are ready. Braxton's ready. <laughs> he comes running into the kitchen over there. He's like, I need a fork. But um, because me and Trey need to know if they're. I you got it. You're the chef. Yeah. You gotta taste it, right? Yeah, I know it's good. One. So. And then we want the biggest one, Braxton. Yeah. Oh no, Braxton. there's no plates. It's on. Just watch it. Okay. This one's for me. Dad. I'll pour, I'll pour. You you move that over. There you go. So we've got Trey and Nevea. Okay, pour some syrup. Are you anxious? I'm really excited. Did we do good? I, I don't know. So let's You don't see. know? I don't know. Okay, so now I need a butter knife because it's a cut. I think I think he's trying to get you one, Braxton. I need to taste it. There we go. There you go, Braxton, you also need taste test. Tell us if it's good. <clears throat> Brax has a good thing about pancakes and he knows Wait, you're not gonna good. put syrup on it? Not yet. Oh, you're just gonna eat it straight, huh? Like, come on. Two, Is it good? Three, four, thumbs up. Perfect? Mm -hmm. Alright. She's got her first bite. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. Be honest. Mwah. <laughs> Did we do good? Why does it taste like shells? <laughs> Did you just say that? I heard you you just took a bite. You heard him say there was. We took the shells out, so it doesn't taste I like feel shells. Like there's too much salt in it. Too much salt? But other than that, I think it's really good, actually. Okay, so yeah. maybe less salt next time. Yeah, that's okay. good. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. Perfecto. Perfecto. We need to bring one of these up to mom. See if she likes it. Maybe. I'm gonna keep eating. I'm gonna eat like two of these. All right, all right. This is how you now you need to try it. I can't. I'm gluten free. I can't eat these. Forgot it. But you know what? We could do chocolate chips in our next ones. You guys want to yeah. put chocolate chips in the next ones? No. No? No chocolate chips? 
How could Okay, we'll just do a chocolate chips in like one more each for them. Yeah. Okay guys, you guys both want chocolate? Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, we'll do that. We're gonna do my eyeshadow and my blush, and I use the same colors for my eyeshadow as I do my blush. And this palette is Glow, oh, Glow Getter Face Palette. It's kind of rub off too, but I try not to go too crazy on eyeshadow, but my eyelids are very, very white, but I do not tan. Trust me, I've tried. I tried all summer to tan actually, and it did not work. I was not able to tan at all. So I am I left school pale, and I'm coming back to school more pale, which I don't even know how it's possible. Okay, now we're using a blush, which we just did both. I'm just gonna put it here, there, and then I put a little bit on my forehead, on my nose, and then also on my chin, just to like even it out. Cause like I said, I like a very even, almost natural, but not natural at all look. I feel like this is going a lot faster, but I need to hurry actually. Now we're gonna do mascara. I think I realized why my mask or like why my eyelashes, oh, my, some of my eyelashes are in here. That's not good. But I think I realized why some of my eyelashes were getting ripped off and it was probably because I would use a blow dryer to heat up my curling iron every day and then I would curl my, 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 I would curl my lashes with a hot like curling iron. No, it's not a curling iron. With a lash curler, there we go. But it wasn't like burning hot where it like burned me, it was just like, like warm so that I could like hold the curl, you know? That definitely damaged it. So now we're doing no heat. Oh, those look quite good. I don't even remember what I was saying. Let me use this mirror real quick. Oh, guys, an eyelash came off. Okay, so we're just gonna put them in like Okay. Two. You're getting one, he's getting one. Do you want the big one or the little one? I want the little one. Two big ones cold. and two little ones, okay. So I want the little one. You want a lot of chocolate chips or just a few? Just a few. Yep, that's probably enough. Trey probably wants a ton, He don't probably you? wants the whole bag. <laughs> he just wants a chocolate pancake. This one's awesome. You want the big one? Is that one, this one? All right. But okay, now that that is done, we're gonna let them like sit for a little bit because they normally do fall a little bit. And we're gonna do like eyeshadow. I know we already did eyeshadow, but I do, I get the tiniest brush and I just put a little bit under my eyes. Not too dark, just like to even out the face. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna take off the tinted stuff on my lips. I use my cellular water to take my makeup off every day and it's definitely a lot easier, but also cause I would always just be so rough on my eyelashes, which is another reason why they would fall off. So I guess I can't like be like completely clueless to why they fell off cause I was definitely the problem. But now we're gonna do lips. Sometimes I do lip liner, most of the time I don't, but we're gonna do it today. But we're not gonna do it everywhere, we're just gonna do a little bit on the top, a little on the bottom. And then we're gonna use, because we don't have my lip gloss, we're gonna use this E-Balm. It's extremely red, but it does not come off that red. Well done. Hmm. perfect. And then we're gonna put on some chapstick. We're gonna use a Sol de Janeiro one. Now I've got some. We can go ahead and get started on my eyelashes. We're gonna put a little bit in our waterline. Oh, although it's a little wet, so it's coming off a little stronger than I thought. Okay, I used to do this every day, and now I don't do it as much, because I think my, like I feel, I just can't ever decide if it looks better with or without. I mean, my eye color definitely pops more with the black, but like without it, I just look, like it's like a very natural, Look, you know, my eyelashes look really good. We're just gonna do my hair real quick. If I'm being honest, I've never even seen the braid, like how it looks in the back. <laughs> I don't really care about the front, cause if I don't see it, it's not my problem. Now we have to get dressed. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Okay, I picked out what I'm gonna wear. I'm just gonna wear this cheetah shirt with these blue shorts and I'm gonna either wear my white sambas or my black sambas. Have not decided yet. Oh, I have to put on my jewelry. I actually, so I sleep with this one on, this one that I got for my birthday. And then I have my Addison necklace somewhere. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's in here. So we gotta put this on. And then I used to wear a lot of bracelets, but I'm just too lazy to put all those on, so I've not worn them in a sec. So we're gonna get dressed real quick, put on my shoes, go upstairs, make some toast, and then we're gonna go. Hi, Addie. Hello. Are you gonna taste the pancake? Yeah, I'll taste okay. it. More? Yeah, I'll taste it. More? I'm a chocolate guy. You want some chocolate chips in yours, Addie? 
yes. Yes? I made them Madison dogs. I made them shots. Alright. Oh my god. I'm flipping now because they want to eat. Yes, so. we want to eat. Faster, faster, do it faster. Okay, faster, we gotta let faster, it cook. Faster, faster, do it, do it, do it faster. Patience faster. is a hard thing for you, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? I, I <laughs> eat like five pancakes for He five. does. He can pack it in. He has like a hollow leg where he eats and it just packs into the leg. <laughs> Braxton is holding the camera, so this is going to be very interesting. I don't know if you've ever recorded, right, Braxton? Nope, I've never recorded. You just want to do it this time. Okay, Trey's pancake is ready. Go ahead and take that one. All the pancakes are ready. One of them is for you, so you better give me the camera so you can eat. Yeah. So. Oh, you wanted, did you want the chocolate chip one? Or no, chocolate? no, he doesn't want the chocolate chips. Oh, okay. He wants this one right here with no chocolate. Yeah, I want the... That one's good. One she wants the small want one, one, and then the other one's for Addy. This one? Yeah, that one's yours. Okay. Tell, you need all three of the taste testers. Tell it us. It looks beautiful. Say thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. It's <laughs> my salt. Tell us if it's good, because I thought there was too much salt in it. Not Trey said it's salt. perfect. Yeah. Well, we only put one teaspoon, but... And for your opinion, there is no eggshells. No eggshells. For your so, opinion, <laughs> that did you do that? We took the eggshell. There was one in there. We took it out. So yeah. you, you should be safe. No, and that was his fault. His fault. Oh, that's all. My, that was fault. you. Uh -uh, that's you fault. guys, this is the moment of test. Moment of truth. Mm. Is it good? It's good. Mm. I told you it was good. Not so salty. Not I salty. No, 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 this is good. It's just good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it'd be weird to like have um, syrup with it because there's chocolate chips inside, but no, it tastes good. No, it's really it tastes good. good. Thank you guys. Yep. I'm taking a couple of pancakes up to mom so she can try them. I think she's she likes getting them. ready for the day still. So I think that's it for our breakfast, all right, guys? Yeah. So that was delicious. Well, I, that was... I didn't get to taste it, but I'm sure it was delicious. So. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Braxton? Did you okay. like it? Did yes, you I like did. it? Trey, did you like it? That's really good. Really good. Yay. Yeah. And yes. Addison said it was fantastic. Yeah. There's still a few left for anybody else who wakes up and wants breakfast. Yes. Mouse. Yeah, right. so it's definitely behind those two baskets. It's oh, there. There it is. Look, it? look, 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 look. I want to see, I want to see. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I already know what we're going to do. Everybody quiet. Okay, watch out, Cody. Get again, Addison. Stay there. 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 Addy, you cannot do it. Addy, we do not trust you. Mom, I can do it. I <laughs> promise you. Okay. <laughs> okay, 